The Simurg is a friendly bird from Persian folklore and stories. Sometimes it gets compared to other legendary birds like the phoenix and the humor, but it's essential to recognize that the Simurg is its own unique mythical creature. You can spot this mystical figure in Iranian art and literature throughout history. Plus, its influence extends to places like Georgia, medieval Armenia, the Eastern Roman Empire, and other regions touched by Persian culture. Hello and welcome to the Mythical Mug Tavern. In this video, we will talk about the Simur, the mythical bird of Persian mythology. If you enjoy our content, be sure to like this video. Let's begin. In Iranian art, the Simurg is depicted as a magnificent winged creature, possessing the strength to carry an elephant or even a whale. Its form combines elements of a peacock with the head of a dog and the powerful claws of a lion, sometimes adorned with a human face. Revered as inherently benevolent and distinctly female, the Simurg is often portrayed nursing her young, symbolizing nurturing and care. Despite its graceful appearance, the Simurg is not to be underestimated. With teeth and a deep aversion to snakes, it prefers habitats abundant in water. Its plumage, said to gleam like copper, has inspired awe throughout the ages. While early descriptions likened it to a dog bird, later depictions present variations with either a human or canine face. The origins of its name are subject to speculation, with folk etymology linking Sai to the Persian word for 30. Regardless of its linguistic roots, the number 30 has become entwined with legends surrounding the Simur, associating it with vastness and diversity. Legend holds the Simur as ancient beyond measure, witnessing the world's demise thrice over millennia. Its longevity imbues it with unparalleled wisdom making it a repository of knowledge from ages past. In a touching tale, the Simur is said to embrace flames after 1,700 years, emerging anew akin to the mythical phoenix. Beyond its mythical attributes, the Simurg symbolizes purity and fertility, bridging the realms of earth and sky. Nestled within Gaukarina, the tree of life, it embodies a conduit for healing and rejuvenation. Through its flight, it scatters seeds that give rise to the diverse flora of the world, offering remedies for ailments and sustenance for humanity. The Simurg represents divine glory and the sanctity of authority. Its presence signifies divine acceptance, gracing kings and clerics alike with its beneficence. The Simurg transcends mere myth, it embodies a timeless symbol of wisdom, healing, and divine connection, inspiring reverence and wonder throughout the ages. The Simur takes center stage in Ferdowsi's renowned epic, the Shahnameh, Book of Kings, where its connection to Prince Zal is described. In this tale, Zal, the son of Sam, is born albino, causing his father to believe him to be the progeny of demons. Abandoned on the treacherous Albors mountain, Zal's cries reach the compassionate ears of the Simur, who resides atop its peak. Moved by pity, the Simur rescues and nurtures Zal, imparting upon him vast wisdom and knowledge. As Zal matures into adulthood, he yearns to rejoin human society. Despite her sorrow, the Simurg gifts him three golden feathers to be used in times of dire need. Returning to his kingdom, Zal falls in love with Rudaba and marries her. When Rudaba faces a perilous childbirth, Zal, fearing for her life, invokes the Simurg's aid. Guided by the Simurg's wisdom, Zal performs a life-saving caesarean section, ensuring Rudaba's survival. Their son, Rostam emerges as a legendary Persian hero, thanks to the Simurg's intervention. In another tale, the Simurg crosses paths with Esfandiyar during his seven trials. In his fifth labor, Esfandiyar confronts a formidable Simurg after defeating a wicked enchantress. Despite the Simurg's formidable powers, 
Esfandiar emerges victorious, striking it down with a decisive blow to the neck. Even as the Simurgh's offspring rise to avenge their parent, Esfandiar proves triumphant, demonstrating his valor and prowess. In both classical and modern Persian literature, the Simur holds a prominent place, often serving as a metaphor for the divine in Sufi mysticism. Renowned Sufi poet Farid Uddin Attar, in his 12th century masterpiece, Conference of the Birds, tells a story of avian pilgrims in search of the Simurg. These birds, each embodying a human flaw hindering enlightenment, journey under the guidance of the wise Hupo to find their mythical king. However, upon reaching the Simurg's supposed abode, they discover only a reflective lake, symbolizing self-realization and the unity of all beings. The concept of the Simurg transcends literary boundaries, finding mention in the works of celebrated poet Rumi, who describes its mystical nest beyond Mount Kaf in his Masnavi. This enigmatic bird has become ingrained in Persian culture, its name synonymous with spiritual enlightenment and self-discovery. Beyond Persian literature, the Simurg's influence extends through cultural assimilation into the Arabic-speaking world. Here, it becomes intertwined with other mythical birds, such as the Gognus, evolving into the legendary Rukh, which in turn inspired the English word rock. Early Umayyad art and coinage feature depictions of the Simurg, showcasing its enduring impact on diverse cultures and artistic traditions. In Kurdish folklore, the Simurg is affectionately referred to as Simir. Scholar C.V. Trevor recounts two captivating Kurdish folk tales featuring this legendary bird, which trace back to the rich Iranian Simurg stories. In one tale, a courageous hero comes to the rescue of the Simurg's young by slaying a menacing snake attempting to harm them. Grateful for his bravery, the Simurg gifts the hero three feathers, each possessing the power to summon her aid when burned. Later, when the hero finds himself in need, he ignites the feathers, prompting the Simur to whisk him away to safety in a distant land. The second tale delves into the depths of the netherworld, where the Simur serves as a savior for the hero. Here, the Simur exhibits a nurturing trait by feeding its offspring with its teats, mirroring descriptions found in the Middle Persian book of Zadspram. In yet another enchanting encounter, the Simurg sustains the hero during their journey, while the hero reciprocates by offering pieces of sheep's fat to the noble bird. These Kurdish folk tales not only showcase the enduring allure of the Simur, but also highlight its role as a guardian and benefactor in the realm of folklore and legend. And there you have it. If you enjoy our content, please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Thank you, and safe travels, my dear friends.